Hey, Yudasi here. I'm the founder of The Mimic Method. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the third installment I'm going to do for Flow School, Flow School 3. Um, but before we do that, I want to wish you Happy New Year, Happy New 2022. Uh, I know it's been a rough year and lots of trials and tribulations for a lot of people. At least speaking for myself, I definitely had a, had a, a lot of struggles this past year. And in 2022, I'm ready to integrate all that, bring it all forward, and hopefully do that with you in this third installment of Flow School 3. So in this video, what I'm gonna cover is who this program's for, who I am and why I'm doing it, um, the Minute Method philosophy overall, what you're gonna study in Flow School 3 if you participate, um, how we do the training in Flow School 3. There is a personal training component to each of these offers we have here, the standard, the VIP. So I'm gonna talk to you about um, what that looks like and how it compares. Uh, then finally, I'll end with like some common concerns I hear from people who are interested in learning with us. I'll make a separate video of FAQ and previous testimonials. Uh, for now, I just wanna give you the basics on what this program is. So who is this program for? So I'm going to be doing this for Spanish, French, German, European Portuguese, and Brazilian Portuguese. Um, for the levels of beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So if you're a pure beginner, you don't know anything about language, this will be a good way for you to build a strong foundation in the language, learn what mistakes to avoid, and, and get a really solid, you know, yeah, solid foundation to learn quick and to learn deep. Intermediates, um, if you're stuck on something, which I know 95% of you are, you know, you're stuck in your mouth, stuck in your hearing, you're frustrated, and you can't progress to the next level, this is the program to help you remove your blocks and feel free and, and, and get forward. And if you're already an advanced conversational speaker in any of these languages, uh, but you want more, you want to feel like more like a native, participate more in the flow of the native culture uh, by mastering your accent, not just of the sound of your voice, but your nonverbal accent, all of that. Um, this is also the program for you. This program um, gets to the first principles of communication, of language, and um, therefore it applies to all levels. You will enjoy it. So on a more specific kind of pain level, if you have any of these difficulties when trying to converse in a foreign language, when people speak fast, you get lost and you can't make out the words. Um, when you're trying to think or speak to someone and then like you get stuck doing translations in your head, like a oh, third person AR, what's that word mean, right? That kind of whole thing. Um, or maybe your mind just kind of goes blank entirely and all that vocabulary you learned on Duolingo or like writing down here, just poof, gone. You can't think of anything. And then afterwards, you're like, oh my God, I knew that word, right? If you had that experience, uh, we all have this one, get nervous and freeze up in conversation. I haven't done a video in a long time, so I'm kind of like fighting through that right now, hey? And uh, stuttering and stammering. So, you know, uh, to to carry a blood, all that, we work on that specifically. Dissatisfied with your accent, maybe you actually get the words out in the language when you speak, but you don't like the way it sounds. You sound very American or very, you know, French or very whatever. It doesn't matter. All those accents are beautiful. All accents are beautiful. But some accents flow more with the group you're trying to flow with. And that's the whole point. So if you're not satisfied with how you're flowing on that accent level um, and you feel stuck, you're trying to progress, you've tried all the different programs, but nothing seems to be improving in your conversational ability and you don't know what to do or how to improve it, what specifically would be a good use of your very limited time. And finally, if you don't have a practice routine to kind of schedule this, what do you need to do depending on what level you're at? Um, how do you figure that out? How you make your own practice routine so you can be an autonomous learner? All these are all the things that um, that I personally focus on as a teacher, and that what we're going to be getting into in Flow School Three. So if you have any of these issues, then check us out. In general, the way I describe it to people is that if you struggle to enter into the flow of conversation, you want to get in there and jump and and you know dance and laugh and play with everybody else, but then you get blocked, you get stuck, you can't enter the flow then this is the program for you. So why is it called Flow School? I've been saying flow since the very beginning. My first program was called the Flow of Spanish. What does flow mean? I use this word, it's actually a technical term, and I just wanna quickly review this because it's really important. All these activities you see on the screen right here are people who are in flow state, right? Whether you're surfing, you know, working, playing chess, you know, gardening, whatever. These are types of flow states which um, are characterized 
subjectively by the feeling of selflessness, like you're just not there, you're not self-conscious. Timelessness, kind of time dilates and, and loses the same kind of feel. Effortlessness, you have this grace, things flow, you know, it glides, it's smooth. And a deep richness um, of the experience itself, so, you know, higher meaning, more intensity is, is more joyous. Um, action and awareness merge. So you're not thinking in your head, you're just moving and you're tuned into the environment and responding and reacting to it on an intuitive level. And a very, very deep sense of meaning and purpose, right? This is the general feeling that describes, once again, all those states before, deep flow. Except maybe that guy in the, in the guy doing that corny dance in the middle. I'm not sure how deep he's getting into it. All right. Anyways, uh, what is conversation flow then? Conversation flow is a subcategory of flow. It's the type of flow you experience when you're in conversation. And unlike lots of other conversations you might be in, you don't feel anxiety, awkwardness, boredom, frustration, confusion, interruption, discomfort. Instead, you have this effortless communication between you and your conversation partner. And these experiences, once again, are deeply engaging and deeply meaningful, like any other flow, school, uh, flow state, surfing, whatever. Um, but because we're dealing with another human being or other groups of human beings, it also has the added benefit of expanding you know, heart and mind of each person participating in that interaction, right? You walk away like feeling more connected and a bit wiser and smarter and more intelligent. So as a result, if you're sharing that experience of uplifting and elevation in conversation with anyone, English, whatever the language is, that type of experience is what strengthens the relationship between the two people speaking as well as the individuals themselves. All right, so this is really deep what we're really about at Mid Method, what I'm personally really about is getting people deeper into conversation flow in general. But right now we're talking about what's stopping you from doing that in a foreign language. So what I want you to take away from this presentation, this is kind of what I'm focusing on in Flow School 3 and my own studies and philosophies in general, is that if you want to get into flow, then you have to get into character. You have to put on a new identity and wear it for a while before it becomes you, and then you enter into flow through that character. So we're gonna talk about that in more detail in a bit, uh, but first, who I am, if you've not seen my videos before. Um, so I speak seven languages, or I flow in seven languages. I'm an expert in accent and pronunciation, so the essence of my methodology is we go deep into your mouth and I tell you how to move your tongue, how to position your lips, all that kind of stuff so you can produce these sounds. Um, and that capacity is based on my, my deeper experience as a musician, uh, public speaker, performer. And um, so I talk about expression and how you actually communicate with people. And of course, I'm the founder of the Mimic Method. And this program I started 10 years ago, online courses touched over tens of thousands of people have gone through our programs or our materials in some fashion or another. Great, so now I wanna to talk to you quickly about the Mimic Method philosophy and how I came up with it. So I grew up in the United States only speaking English and then around 18 years old, I moved to Mexico um, and traveled there just to learn Spanish. There for about six months. And at first I was learning like everybody else, studying vocabulary and grammar, reading and writing, and I got really good at that. But then when I'm in conversation with Mexicans, I couldn't understand anything. And where that shifted for me was one day I just said, you know what? I suck at Spanish. I can't really speak. I can't understand it. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to try to sound more like a Mexican and impersonate Mexicans and just kind of do that for fun. Because why not? Like, I know how to say, yo quiero tomar un baño. But instead of saying that way, I can say, like, yo quiero tomar un baño. Right? Like, just kind of having more fun with it. And uh, through that, after just kind of taking that seriously for a week or two, boom, all of a sudden my conversational skills blew up in Spanish. I understood everything. And when I spoke, I was speaking from this character that at first I was just kind of creating for fun. And then it takes over and takes a life of his own. And then he starts speaking for me instead of me doing the translation in my head. So all these transformations happened. I learned Spanish very well. And then um, that's how I realized that the secret to learning foreign languages is mimicry. That's the key. You have to mimic people. Pay close attention, not just to how they sound, but also how they move their face, how they move their body. And then try and feel it out in your own body. Take on that perspective. And when you take on someone's perspective, you understand them, right? So that's, that's uh, what's going on with um, the mimicry piece. And then I kept expanding it. So afterwards, I learned Chinese. I studied abroad in Beijing and Shanghai. And then 
people knew that you had to kind of really get the accent and pronunciation right um, for Chinese, because if you don't get the right tones, then people won't understand you. Uh, but nonetheless, I saw people trying and they weren't able to get it. And that's when I realized that most people, even if they just try to impersonate, they're blocked and they're hearing, hearing the subtle nuances of sound. And also from a physical level, uh, moving your mouth in the ways you need to move to cre recreate these different language sounds. Um, but then I learned that you can unblock your ears and mouth using musical technique. And I learned that when I wanted to learn Brazilian Portuguese, which is very similar to Spanish, but a very different pronunciation. So I learned that purely by learning Brazilian music. I just learned a bunch of songs in Brazilian Portuguese, and I showed up on the ground, started imitating people, and within a matter of weeks, I was already conversational in the language. So I was like, whoa. So the musical techniques in Brazil is how I came up with a methodology to teach other people in a very systematic way. Um, and that's how I came up with Flow Program, the first one, the Flow Series and Elemental Sounds. Um, I'm using these different techniques of musical repetition and bringing your your ear to a certain place, uh, coordinating your fine motor coordination in your mouth the same way you would for your fingers on a piano, doing all these things so you become um, the mimic, you become what you need to do. And then the final piece of it, or, or rather the most recent kind of update and what I'm focusing on now, because it's a continually evolving philosophy, is this idea of character. And this came about when I started doing these cohort trainings, which is the third one. On the second one, I started doing one-on-one -on -one training with people for the first time in like almost 10 years. And I noticed that even when I got them really good at doing these pronunciations and doing these hearings and, and transcribing things, uh, when it came time to speak, they weren't, all that was lost. They go back to old habits and they weren't integrating that. And I'm like, huh, um, what's going on here? And then I, I realized one day, like, wait, let me just coach these people to like a director to just get into character, just tell people to get into character and take that more seriously. And then everything started to just really rapidly grow. So this is the new thing we're working on right now that we're really going to focus on for Flow School 3. So it's all about building your character and getting into that character and then engaging the world through that character. That's, that's the key to becoming a mimic. So how do you do that? Getting into the more technical detail. So what you study in this six-week program is melody, movement, and meaning. That's what speech is. So I have a phrase like, that's what speech is. The melody of that is, right? That's the melody. Being able to hear how that goes, da, 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 da. hearing that up and down movement with your ears, uh, then recreating it with your vocal folds and understanding what composes melody, which is timing. When do these different things happen? Stress relative to the others. Which ones are you paying more attention to? What's the stress? And then pitch, which you already discussed, right? Uh, uh, being able to hear that. So you study that in flow school. You also study movement. You're actually moving your lips and your tongue and the back of your throat to create these sounds. So one category of sound we create is vowels, I, O, U, and the other category is consonants, right? These vowels and consonants combine to create syllables, which is a form of a segment. So being able to hear and break things down into segments, like uh, anatomy, uh, na, t, me, uh, na, n, a, t, t, uh, me, m, e, anatomy, right? That's called segmenting and being able to do that with your mouth. Uh, and then finally, sequence. So you have these syllables, you flow them together, and that is what speech is. It's just a flowy sequence of syllables, right? Finally, those flowy sequences of syllables in context with everything else going on in a social communicative environment uh, combines to create meaning. So how do you actually learn to speak and understand what things are going? We're going to go into how you learn that. I have my own unique framework, which I've been really developing the past year, where there's basically three dimensions to your, to your fluency and communicating meaning, and that's sufficiency, smoothness, and similarity. So um, we'll cover that in the program. How do you train in flow school? You calibrate your hearing through this process of uh, just getting audio and looping it over and over again, slowing it down, breaking it down into parts repeating each thing musically to entrain it into your ear, 
building it back up, and then increasing the speed. This is the secret for you understanding fast speech. Um, it's, it happens very quickly once you do it. So within a week, people will report having like massive breakthroughs in the listening comprehension. That's the first thing we do. Fine tune your pronunciation. Um, so we help you visualize what's happening inside of your mouth, develop precise control over each part of your tongue and your lips. Um, and then once again, slowing it down, breaking it down, building it up, speeding it up. That process of, uh, that's how you put the words and the speech and the flow into your mouth. It's just, it's just training. So finally, integrating all this together into your character, what we'll be doing is we'll have native speaker videos you'll be watching and then very seriously taking the practice of trying to impersonate and match the face and the body gestures and the energy, doing all that and, and getting past all the different psychological hurdles that we all have in that context of actually breaking outside of our ego and and taking on a new perspective. And um, we're also going to learn these techniques of uh, role play and critical self analysis. How do you like, you know, record yourself, look and make make fine tune adjustments and bit by bit get better. How do you um, enter into character once again, role play? That's what we're looking at there. I've been looking a lot recently into theater techniques. Um, and then finally, having conversation practice. I mean, um, we'll show you how to get conversation partners if you already have one. If you're in the VIP program, we'll provide you one. Uh, and then there's this process of actually, um, once again, entering into that character, then entering into the conversation, uh, and then engaging from that space. This is, this is the path to achieving deep fluency as quickly as possible. So... What does that look like on a daily practice routine basis? Um, you'll receive your materials for each of the six weeks on Monday, and you'll spend 15 to 45 minutes um, just reviewing lectures, like, you know, I kind of go deep on different philosophical concepts for a couple of videos, as long as it's relevant to the learning. Um, so you'll spend maybe half an hour looking at those per week. And then um, the rest of the time is dedicated to the actual training, like, doc, look at that. It's, it's, it's equivalent to learning how to dance or learning um, how to play piano. It's, a, it's more of a musical program. It's, it's not a musical program as such. Like we're not, it's not all about music. It's just that people think about learning a language like um, you know learning about history or learning some other academic subject. It's not like that. It's a physical skill. So it's a physical practice, and you need to do physical repetition to develop the whole motor coordination. So that is the main bulk of the training. You have to do it. Only you can do it, right? Uh, but the cool thing is this program is all about personal training. So you're going to record yourself and then send in your recording to me for feedback. So I'm going to hear it and then tell you exactly what you're doing wrong and what you need to adjust. Um, and then finally, as you have questions come up, you can kind of jump, j drop them in a Q&A form. And then I'll make a video each week going through questions and then answering it on video and send it out to everybody. Um, and then also we'll have like a weekly Zoom discussion for those who are more social to um, just discuss what everyone's learning. It's not me so much guiding it as much as um, you guys just talking about what you're experiencing. So how does personal training work? Um, what you're going to do is self-record and then send in your recording to me and I'll give you precise feedback on what you're doing and then you re-record and try to get it improved. Um, it's very effective. Because one of the problems that people have when you're learning a new physical skill is you don't know what it's like to do a physical skill until you've already done it. Therefore, if you're doing it, you don't really know if you're doing it right. In fact, most of the time I find a lot of people are doing things right and all they need is the affirmation that is right so they can move on with confidence, right? So self-recording is very, very powerful. I had it in my original programs and now I'm bringing it back. Um, so... That's going to be coming from me at least this time around, not forever. Now, ask questions by text. Uh, we already talked about how that works. Workshop your pronunciation. So a couple years ago, I started doing one-to-one um, -one pronunciation calls, which I hadn't done in a long time. And um, I got really good at it. I, I, I challenged myself to solve any pronunciation problem in like 15 minutes. I had these 15-minute calls. So you're going to have 30 minutes each week if you're in the VIP program. Um, where all we're going to focus on is just like, calibrating and like tuning up your hearing and your mouth. Uh, I got really good at that stuff recently. And then um, practice conversation. So the other type of call we'll have is we'll have a native speaker 
And it'll be kind of a role play action kind of theater where you'll be interacting a conversation that's relevant to your life. And then I'll be a director coaching you and getting you more into character. I'm like, no, I like, try that again. And uh, that's that's the newest thing I've developed so far. And it's very fun <laughs> and very powerful. So that's uh, if you're doing VIP, that's a, for you. However, um, I'm only accepting a certain number of VIP students. So for the standard, you can apply as many people as, as possible. Uh, but for the VIP, you have to um, you have to fill out a form and then we'll, we'll do a call. All right. So what's the difference between standard and VIP? Um, Three hundred dollars for the standard. We have that for Spanish, French, German, European, Portuguese and Brazilian Portuguese. Uh, you'll get feedback twice a week and then a Q&A. Anyone gets a Q&A, which you won't get is the one on one calls. Um, but if you're in VIP, $1,000, then we're doing that. We decided for Spanish, French, and European Portuguese. I have um, teachers for that. Uh, well, I'm going to have teachers for that. And then um, that's going to be five times per week if you're the VIP. So you can do it basically every weekday is what we're doing. So you can just kind of get that. It's not just good feedback and accelerating your learns. It's also good accountability. Like there's a cutoff time that you have to send it. So it kind of keep, it helps you organize your day a bit better and like get it done. So that's um, five times a week. And you get these one-on-one -on -one calls. I mentioned the pronunciation one, just you and I. And then the conversation coaching where there's going to be three of us and we'll be uh, working out a scene, so to speak. So what are some common concerns people have when they try out our programs? Um, people say, I don't have good ears, you know, I'm tone deaf, all that kind of stuff. Great. This is why you have this program. Everyone is tone deaf to a degree because we haven't practiced enough. Even me. Every time I practice, I get less tone deaf. I get more tone tuned in. Right. So no matter what level you are, you can always be better. So why not be better? You don't need to be the best to understand people in conversation. You just need to be above a certain threshold and anyone can reach that threshold with the right training. My memory isn't good enough. Um, there's different types of memory. Uh, usually people are, are thinking about kind of a, this abstract intellectual memory, which has its purpose, uh, but it's nowhere near as important as the muscle memory, the memory in your body and your feeling. Um, so everyone has that. And training that is much more durable and um, much more accessible to all people. Uh, I'm too old. We have lots of, of uh, senior citizens in our program. Is that the right term? I don't know. I'll let you decide. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, lots of people in the program. And uh, I'll, actually, it's one of my favorite uh, groups to work with. And um, yeah, it's just fun. It's it just fun. Get your hearing up. I can't make this claim, but uh, I, would, I could only assume it influences your capacity to... Um, hear and listen to people in general in English. Um, I know it does. Like, I get that feedback from people, actually. So um, something to consider. I've always been bad at languages. Uh, you've always been bad at doing a bad approach to learning, which is what everyone else is doing. The conventional approach is the bad approach. Right? I'm much on the hate on it. I'm just saying it is what it is. We all know that. No one learns Spanish from high school Spanish, right? So... Um, you haven't tried the real approach that you did when you learned your first language, which is pay attention and mimic, right? That's what we're doing here. It works no matter who you are. I'm a visual learner. So am I. Uh, I make great use of uh, visual things. Basically, what, what I help you do is visualize language inside of your body um, so that you can feel it inside of your body. That's the bridge to get there. That's kind of what I'm, what I'm, what I'm best at when it comes to just instruction and teaching. Um, so I love doing that, I have fun with it, as you can see with my emojis here. Uh, I'm an introvert, I love introverts. Uh, they balance me out. Uh, really the question here is the energy and being able to socialize. Um, once again, this character thing is deep and profound. You know, you know Beyonce is an introvert, I found out, and I'm not surprised by it. So think about it, this very extroverted performer uh, she has, she can put, she can step into that character because she's a very complex and multi-character person, right? So as are you. So I'll leave it at that. I'll let you play that idea. I'm a pure beginner. Welcome. You are the best type of student because there's not things that we need to undo with you. You're just going to check it all out and, and get that clean beginning foundation. I've already been corrupted by the conventional method. Uh, that's fine. 
everyone can get better. We just reverse these things and keep onward and upward. It's the same thing. Um, I struggle to stay consistent. Amen. So do I. Um, hopefully with the feedback structure and having these kind of timelines, that will keep you um, doing much more than you normally would without that you know, top level system to, to, to help you out. Um, it's six weeks this time. I'm trying to do shorter term things so that people can like, I'm, I'm playing with the times because it is, it gets intense, right? Uh, but six weeks seems to be a good time. We'll see, we see how it is. Just six week program, good way to start the year, get that new year's energy and um, yeah, see where it goes. And I'm too busy. Uh, yeah, so if you can do 30 minutes a day, that will be enough to get you that continuous gain. And really what I'm teaching you in this program is uh, autonomy. So after six weeks, you're not necessarily going to be fluent or, or you know, perfect in six weeks. You're going to have all the tools and the, in, and the insights you need to continually moving forward on your own. Um, I want to teach you how to fish, right? That's, that's what I really like to do as a teacher. And finally, I'm bad with technology. All you need for this is an iPad or a laptop. And uh, it's just listening to audio over and over again and doing the, the physical activities I tell you to do. Um, and uh, yeah, and just hit me up if you have issues with anything. I like to help people out. A lot of people get better at technology as a result of using these programs. Uh, cool. So I'll make more videos, FAQ, testimonials later on. Um, I hope that was useful answering questions. If you do the standard program, you can go ahead and pay now. If you want to do the VIP program, you have to fill out an application and then uh, pay a uh, refundable deposit for a call. Um, and then I'll select who I want to bring in because I have limited time to be doing um, to be doing the, the 30 minute calls. So um, great. Keep on flowing. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year. And I, no matter whether you join or not, I wish you a very successful, very flowy 2022. I know it's rough times for a lot of people. Always remember, you can always go deeper into the flow and always keep going up and onward no matter where you are. All right. So incontrovertible fact of the universe. Always remember that and keep on flowing.